was on the road. My colleague on the near side will be using this camera and he'll be filming the offences. Still looking down, still reading, interacting with the phone. Is now looking up and seeing me. Texting, not wearing seat belts and using the car as a mobile office are the most common and potentially dangerous driver behaviours that have been captured on film. A lot of them carry on doing their emails and all their office work and everything else, or conference calls, etc. Or now FaceTime or Zoom meetings whilst they're driving. It is not an office, it is a vehicle. They need to be concentrating on what they're doing. In 2019, serving Staffordshire police officer Luke van der Sand was enjoying a motorbike ride with other off-duty officers when he lost control of his bike. Luke went through a fence and hit a tree and died instantly at 28. His mother is now campaigning for all motorists to upskill themselves. I just wish that he may have done one of those courses, took on board those skills and maybe, just maybe, it may be here today. In Warwickshire last year, 36 families' lives were devastated after loved ones were killed on the county's roads. Police want to ensure that we all realise that a split-second mistake can have fatal consequences. Joan Cummings, BBC Midlands, today, Warwickshire. Six months ago, we visited two Worcester companies who had answered the call to help the NHS early on in the coronavirus pandemic. During lockdown, while other firms struggled, GTEC recorded their best ever sales and Piston Distillery doubled their customers. Ben Sidwell has been back to both businesses. Petrol and power cords could make gardening a chore. It's a business that's benefited from lockdown. While other companies have furloughed or even laid off staff, at GTEC in Worcester, the past six months have been unexpectedly successful. Everyone trained up very quickly to work from home. We kept our deliveries working and our warehouse operating. And it, it was a surreal period, but in the end it was challenges and it's fun meeting challenges. So that's what we did. The company who produced vacuum cleaners and...